This Shih Tzu came with a complaint of a swollen abdomen. Then it was discovered that he has a circuminal tumour, a ringworm infection, an undescended testicle, painful ears, and rotten teeth. So, how will we treat this Shih Tzu? Watch this video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. An old unneuted Shih Tzu has a circumanal tumour. Physical examination. Number 1. Checking of heart and lungs. Number 2. Checking of teeth. Number 3. Checking of circumanal tumour. Number 4. Checking of undescended testicle. Number 5. Checking of ringworm infection. Number 6. Checking of ears. Number 7. Checking of spinal disc. Number 8. Abdominal palpation. Checking of heart and lungs. Okay, so now in this dog, I checked the heart really. It's, the heart is actually in good condition. So I check the heart. Heart rate is okay. Any coughing? Uh, no coughing, that's good. No, no coughing. So overall, the heart and lungs are alright. Checking of teeth. Dental, as you can see. The teeth are really full of pattern. The, the roots are exposed and it's quite painful. It's quite painful. So this one is the periodontal disease stage 4. Then it's one. Checking of circumanal tumour. Circumanal, how long? One year, right? Less than. Less than one year. So it's quite, quite small. Now if the owner ignores it, the dog will lick it. At this one it's all bored. And then the blood will be on the floor. Uh, sometimes it starts to spread and grows bigger until the whole, whole area or goes upwards. Huh? So now it's quite easy to cut out actually. Just a electro surgery, zip zip. And then this one is easy, but not everyone is that easy. It doesn't involve the anus or the rectum. This is called circumanal tumor. Now the reason, because this owner didn't uh, sterilize the dog. Actually we had sterilized the dog when he was young. 99% you don't get this. Because it's probably due to the male hormones. Uh. And this circumanal tumor happens only in old male dogs. They are not castrated. Checking of undescended testicle. Now, this dog has required a retained testicle. You see, there's no one. Now, there's another one here below under the, under the skin. Uh. This, this one is big, uh, but it's growing already. You can see it's quite big. Now, it may be a three or four years more or two years more. If it's cancerous, it becomes as big as a duck's egg. And that one is all rotten, I mean the, the cancer, testicular cancer. No. Checking of ringworm infection. Now, this one is actually very common in Singapore, ringworm in Koya. No? Because you can see ring. It starts with rashes first. And uh, it has spread. It has spread to the face as well. The face, uh, it's set the face and the neck. Neck, neck a bit, a very little. And then below, let's see below. Below is spread. So all the rings, at first was the rings and then after they all join together, it becomes one big black pigmented patch. This is due to the owner applying some cream or some spray. Eh? Now the, the real, the original ringworm will be like this, a reddish color. You can see, eh? Uh, this one, these are ringworm and bacteria and, and yeast. It's very itchy. It affects the whole body, there, including here. You see, now, this one, I think uh, the owner didn't apply much spray, so it's still the, the red, red color, you see. These are all ringworm and, and yeast. Now, checking of years. Uh, the years are okay, you see, but there's still some some uh, pigmentation, this shows that the dog has been scratching the ear and then it, it just probably is painful, like you see it's painful, huh? okay because the owner applies some uh, commercial ear drops and uh, it might have damaged the ear lower ear, this one is so painful, like you see so some ear drops are not suitable for the dog okay, there's some pain, but not very really serious Checking of spinal disc. 
Now, the, the main thing about the complaint from the owner of this dog had some pain somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. We can still walk and stand. Huh? So, normally we check the this, uh, whether the dog has slipped this or not. So, the check is just palpation. You see the reaction. But here it's not happy. Huh? But it's not serious, so I can't show exactly. But if it's very serious, the dog won't be standing. One more time. Ah, oh, the dog looking backwards. Mm. Oh, okay, so we know this dog either has fallen down on, on the back or, or jumped down from the steps. Steps, uh, steps. But it's not serious, so it's an early stage. Only recently, right? It's probably a recent thing, right? It's not been. Abdominal palpation. Okay, the one is worried about the stomach, very square bit of a, a swelling here. Now, what's the cause? Now, whether it is uh, water in the in the abdomen or not, you can see from here, you can see from, from the side, side, side. You don't see from the top. Right? So it doesn't look so bad. You know? But definitely there's some swelling here. Mm -hmm. I do abdominal palpation to see whether the liver is okay or not. Liver and spleen and kidney. Did the dog drink a lot of water? No, not, not every day, right? No. So, so there's no. Uh, not likely to be kidney or liver disease. Uh, but they drink a lot of water. And uh, so this swelling is very, very uh, possible that there might be something inside. Uh, something inside, but there's no pain. So it might be an abdominal tumor, some tumor inside. But uh, for the time being, the dog is still eating well, right? Mm. Okay, so we won't, uh, mm. won't uh, I mean, we want to find out we need the ultrasound. Do the ultrasound and then you shoot all the organs. Uh, and uh, which one is swollen? Maybe some spleen. Or, so now the best thing is a blood test. A blood test will show whether the liver and spleen, not liver and kidneys, are uh, uh, enlarged or, or infected. No? Then uh, the other thing is, I've checked, there's no pain at all in abdomen. How's the urine? The urine should be okay. okay. Um, the pulse is strong and good. Mm -hmm. Tony, How's the pulse is strong and good? Okay, it's really finished. Lose stool, it could be intestinal, something wrong with uh, the tumor. Stool, then, uh, Treatment. Number one, shave bowel and wash with antifungal wash. Number two, ear irrigation. Number three, use electrosurgery to remove succumb anal tumor. Number four, neutering. Number five, dental scaling. Shaving bout. Okay, now the treatment for this old dog with uh, multiple skin diseases and, and illnesses are for skin diseases, we clip board, you see, as you can see, we clip, clip, clip the hair board so that it's easier to wash and also remove all those uh, contaminated ringworm. Okay, this one. So you can see it's being shaved now. It's quite a gentle dog. So you see that hair. Owner, owner is unable to do it. Owner use scissors, you can see. Unable to do it. The important thing is the face actually there. Eh? Okay, so, so, so you might need to do a string and tie eh? uh, in case you bite the string, you know, string. Not muzzle, you don't muzzle, you cannot uh, shave. So this one. This is the antifungal shampoo that will be used. Ear irrigation. Two is the ear. Ear there was some pain. So we need to do ear irrigation. Ear irrigation is number two for the ears. Painful ears here. Then Electrosurgery to remove succumb anal tumor. Number three. Number three is a succumb inner tumor. Let me, let me show the back side. The succumb inner tumor. So about one minute later, then I operate and remove it. But before that, I give an injection. Part that injection is anti male hormone injection to bring it down. Okay, so it's number three, right? Neutering. Number four is the retained testicle, the undescended testicle, which will be shown in the video. And uh, let me see. It. So, undescended testicle is here. This one is the descended one. So, that one, uh, upper neutering. 
So all this will be done in stages, three stages. Huh? That means uh, one week one. Dental scaling. One I will do is the teeth. The teeth is pretty bad. Come open the mouth. And then open. The other way is just to pull up the... Pull up the... So you can see the... The rotten teeth, the tartar. So dental scaling. Pull down, you can see there. There. This side is all done. Let's see the... Surprising, this chubby all the teeth is still around. Now you can see the premolar teeth there. Wait, open up and show me, show me. Just open, open up the back one there. Pull back. Pull back the, the, the fold of skin. Pull back, pull back, pull some more. There's the premolar there. See the premolar? Full of... Uh, pull back, pull downwards, pull downwards. To expose it, yeah. See, all tartar. See, the gums are exposed. The roots are exposed. And, Oh, so, so it's, it's, uh, it's uh. Conclusion Number one, it's advised to neuter your pet as it will prevent many illnesses from occurring. Number two, seek veterinary treatment as soon as you notice anything unusual to prevent the problem from escalating. Number three, if self-treatment does not work after a week, do seek veterinary treatment. For more information, contact us at the following number or email us at the following address or visit us at topayovets.com. Be kind to pets, veterinary educational videos. Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, BVMS, Glasgow, MRCVS, Consultant Vet, Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, Yangon, Myanmar. Dr. Daniel Sing Jongchen, BSC, BBMS, Murdoch.